Well, it is, it is pretty to look at, obviously, yes. when, the, when the ice forms and creates shapes and things like that. But <laughs> not a whole lot of fun to, to actually see in person if you're outside. No, and uh, when you walk outside, anything but beautiful, you make yeah. that that face <laughs> that's right. when you get out. That's, uh, your, that's your cold face. That, that's my cold face. I like it. And, um, <laughs> I don't like to show it too much this time of year, but let me tell you, it's it's gotten a lot of use and it's going to get a lot more. You see, 14 degrees or 14 below is the current wind chill in Pittsburgh. Minus 15 in West Mifflin, minus 15 in Washington. You get up towards Franklin, the wind chill is minus 18. Some spots, though, way colder than that. Minus 22, Dubois, minus 23 in Deep Creek. And these are going to continue to tick down as we head through the night. So bitterly cold. You factor in any little breeze and feels even worse. Look at this. Wind chills hanging around minus 20 in Pittsburgh all the way through the night until about 9 a.m. tomorrow. Then we're going to start to see them tick upward, especially after lunchtime tomorrow as our temperatures go up and the winds calm down. But a very cold looking shot off the action cam. This is on top of the U.S. Steel building looking towards the Parkway North. It is four degrees in Pittsburgh right now with a wind chill of minus 14. The winds out of the northwest at 15 miles per hour. Those are going to die down as we head towards tomorrow morning, but those breezy conditions are going to stick with us tonight. So the wind chills staying well colder than what the temperatures are reading. And the temperatures aren't reading anything warm in any way, shape, or form. Four here in Pittsburgh, as you get north of the city, one Cranberry, two Newcastle, two below in Franklin. Same temperature in Deep Creek. One of the hot spots, Waynesburg. With six degrees right now. On top of that, there's some snow showers down, especially from uh, Greene County into Fayette County, even into southern Washington County here. Just some light snow. This is going to continue to break up through the night, so snow is not so much an issue for us. Now, we're going to clear those skies out, and that's going to allow those temperatures to fall even more tonight. We'll see some sunshine tomorrow, but it will do very little to warm us up. Then, as we head into the weekend, the clouds come back in uh, Friday night into Saturday, and by Saturday morning, when you're getting up, snow showers. Are going to start flying. Temperatures are going to be ticking upward, but that's coming in with moisture, bumping up into that colder air, and that's going to bring us snow. Now, there could be a brief period in Pittsburgh of some freezing rain trying to lift up here. Ultimately, we're expecting most of the rain to hang south of the Mason Dixon line, so that's the better chances to see a rain. Uh, snow event here as we get into Saturday night and Sunday. Up in Pittsburgh, we're expecting it to be mostly snow, although this particular model brings that rain further up to the north. There's still some question there, but right now we're planning on Pittsburgh to see mainly snow, and a, a brief period of freezing rain can't be ruled out as we head early into Sunday morning. Now, as we go for accumulations, not the most important thing about this, but one to three inches for most of Pittsburgh, two to four inches into the higher elevations, and then into the highest peaks, three to six inches possible. But again, when you have rain and cold temperatures mixed in there and some freezing, you get that potential for some slick spots. And I think that's the bigger issue with what we're going to see going into the weekend. Now, at midnight, minus two, light snow early, then partly cloudy skies and cold temperatures. And we mean cold, minus eight. This will shatter a record set back in 1936 of minus two and wind chills, minus 15 to minus 25. Now, tomorrow afternoon, we'll get to plus eight with those increase in clouds in the afternoon. That's out ahead of that weekend snow. And your four day here shows temperatures get into the upper 30s on Saturday. Stay there into early Sunday morning, then another cold front comes in. And Sunday, we're going to see those temperatures falling. So any leftover rain is going to transition to snow, especially for those southern communities. And those colder temperatures stick with us into Monday and through much of the next several days after that. Temperatures well below freezing through much of next week.